Atlanta. You're listening to the Abby Nights Morning Show, the number one party show in the city. I got things to soul and my true collective ball. Famous, so, so famous, number one desirable. I do what I want when I want and how I want it. Leave you with the one in the yeah, air. I got things to soul and my true collective ball. Famous, so, so famous, number one desirable. All right, and so we're back, and apparently I've been set up on some blind virtual dates. Uh, it's been everybody from the show coming together to pick these candidates for me, so I don't know. I guess we're going to see how this goes down. I'm like, can we cue elevator music or, like, waiting music? Here we go. This is what happens when you're single. You're pretty much the only single one in the group, I I guess. I don't know. All right, so here we go. Caller number one. How are you doing? (laughs) Pretty good. I didn't know it was you calling in. Yep, yep, yep. You must have been Jenny's pick. Mm, not really. No. That's how I knew the game. That's how I knew the game. <laughs> so what's going on? Uh, not much. Uh, what you got planned for this Saturday? N- not too much. It's uh, a working weekend for me, per usual. It's typically how it always goes. You got time for what you make time for, basically. Exactly. But you you won't know what other time you got time for until you actually do it. So you have to be open to, you know, kind of step outside the batteries and the norm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so, so that is that what the whole yoga thing was about? Uh, somewhat. So you already saw me coming, but being that we're on here now at the 8 o'clock, kind of make it quicker. Oh, to have the way I to see. The okay. I see you what know, you're doing. Kind of, yeah, yeah, before Valentine's Day. Cause then, you know, after that, it's after Valentine's Day. You already right. mentioned like, oh, is it a couple thing? So they're already letting me know you're not, you know what I'm saying? That was significant other. So everyone that's listening in right now, <laughs> and this, is, this is an interesting situation. So Justin is on the show today, but um, I actually met him through Jenny um, and he's played football before. He's a trainer. He... Talk to everybody about what you got going on. Justin Marcus, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you done pretty much told him everything. I probably wanted to let them know that I'm a basketball player or something like that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, pretty much um, Georgia native, making Georgia. Um, run a fitness company, as you can see, is everywhere right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, we, we have a yoga session coming up. You guys are more than welcome to come in. Accompany me and Miss Abby. Uh, it could be a couple of things if you would like it to be, or you can just watch us. Um, but February 16th, we're doing Sip and Stretch, where we'll have free wine, free yoga, and as well as refreshments. And um, we also have our anniversary with the free workout, giving back to the community on the 26th of this month, back home in Macon, Georgia. You know. Okay. Being okay. that it's the month of Valentine's Day, it is Black History Month. Month, I'm sorry, but at the same time, people are looking for love. They are. They are. It's it's the love month. So my friends and I call it all month long. So is this your favorite? Is this your favorite month? Is this your favorite holiday? Is Valentine's no. your favorite holiday? Actually, my favorite holiday is Christmas. Valentine's Day <laughs> ends up being my second favorite one, but it's not because of the well, cliche. It's the top three. It's what Mulatto said, I'm not. I'm, what Mulatto said, I'm not one, not two, whichever, whatever. One one of the two, yeah. right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Not the on one the, of the, on the two, but somewhere side. between. I mean, exactly. I don't like it's Valentine's Day is not about the cliche for me, you know, of having to get a gift or have, you know, looking for attention. But it's more so because I feel like it's the one day globally where people try to celebrate something positive. So, you know, love or whatever. I mean, because Christmas by tradition, it's mm-hmm. it's really more of like a it's a shopping holiday. So when was your last relationship? It's been a minute, a while ago, actually. (laughs) Like, uh, are we speaking before COVID a while ago or like? Yes. 
Oh, it's hard for me to get into a relationship. I got to really, really be invested to commit into a relationship. Because I, I feel like... Are you afraid of commitment? No, actually, the opposite. I'm a family person. But, sure. but for me, it's, you know, it's not like, let me just throw a title on it because it's for fun. Like, I really care about the person. I really want to focus on trying to build something and grow from there. So, sure. you know... I'm not, I'm happy by myself. So I'm not looking for someone to complete me. I'm just looking for someone that can kind of compliment me on the day to day in a positive way. And so it's not something that I, I have to have, but I think when you come across the right person, it just kind of falls into place. What about you? That is true. Uh, for me, you got me telling everybody I'm in business. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, like a year ish, it wasn't like front stream publicly, mm-hmm. but you know, between one on one individually, we was definitely serious with each other. You know, building, and getting to know each other, and kind of being considerable of each other's situations. You know, loving, caring, that type of thing. Um, so was it like an actual relationship, or were you guys just yeah, dating well, for a while? I, okay, so you know how people say situationships, but it wasn't that because there was an understanding. It just wasn't public, you know. People keep their things private, so then the outsiders can't really come into it and break up a happy home. So that type of deal, you know. Mm, I feel like that's something guys say when they got a bunch of girls on on their social media pages that they're still trying to keep on standby. I'm just saying. I'm asking the question. Listen, did you go to law school? No. Don't be judging me, because that's not that's not even <laughs> what that's not even what it is. Have to even do that's with this. Even, because that's not even what it is. Because I got male and females on my Instagram page. What's something most people don't typically know about you? Um, that I'm caring. Really? Are you a yeah, sensitive yeah, a guy? People, I could be sensitive. <laughs> you could be. Okay. I could be, I could be sensitive. Could you be. know, like, and I, and I got back pain. You speaking of body aches, I, I'm sore. You mm-hmm. say you haven't been in a relationship for four years, so I can help. If you're sore anywhere, you need to work out. We get, I can work you out. We get, we can make this work. <laughs> oh, it's only, it's only and revenues we can take this. Right, right, right. Uh, okay, okay. So, well, apparently you're <laughs> you're very thoughtful, right? You don't have a problem mm-hmm. helping somebody stretch. You don't have a problem right. helping somebody relieve their bodily aches. Exactly. <laughs> so, which one do you need? <laughs> Right now, neither. So yeah, I've been I've been to one yoga class. I went to a hot yoga class with one of my friends. And so you like to sweat. Huh? You like to sweat. Well, if I go work you out, know, I don't want to go work out sweat. with a bunch of makeup so I can just kind of hang out. I'm going to go to the gym with a fresh face, with a hat down low, try to get what I got to mm. get out the way and keep it moving. But that was a tough class. I will say I underestimated how difficult yoga really is aside from the fact that I didn't understand what the hell they were saying. (laughs) I didn't know what any of the positions were. I didn't know what she was saying about like everyone's breathing in. And I'm like, I already know the language. I could teach you the positions. I'm very flexible too. That's something else people don't know. Really? Wait, so how tall are you? You will see tonight. Oh, you don't know how to answer. I do know how to answer. But I also know how to show. I'm a oh. grower. <laughs> oh, okay. So you say you grown. You grown, yeah, grown. I'm a grower. I said I do know how to answer, but I also know how to show. I'm a grower. That's what I said. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> do you mind your feet being touched? I'm not a foot person like that. But what's more important? Because after you have some fun with that person, there's, there's what? Okay, okay it's, it's been real. So you, you, you had now out or, and, you know, <laughs> I don't know how those things work. Um, so what you about to do? Right. <laughs> Man, I got to get to work. You know, I'm. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go pick up my pot. Right. I'm down the white and I'm going to call me. Hello. Right. I'm on the way. Right. I'm on the way. <laughs> now, with that being said, <laughs> you, have to, you have to at least be working towards. You know, I at least want to, you know, me being in fitness kind of different because, you know, I take care of my body. You know, I help people take care of their body and make body transformations and changes. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, it kind of be like hypocritical for me to kind of be with someone who's not even, they don't even care about how they look at their body type of thing, you know? So for me, I kind of get a pass with uh, with that answer. Um, but she would at least have to at least be in the gym and working towards it, you know, to where I can start helping and not, not on spotting her doing the squats, you know? <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just saying it's an honest answer I don't know why people are so afraid to just be honest about it it's like people that are in relationships are like you can never look at somebody else it is unnatural to not look crossing the line is a different story you know right right don't be obvious you know if you're gonna look do that you know, look take and keep your eyes straight especially with Spanish women because you turn your head oh you, you know, like somebody. that Oh, that's what you want? You want her number? Yeah, you, you turn her head, you coming back to a hand. I relearned. I see something, I look at, keep the head straight and just look. And just keep walking. And just keep walking. I did that to, to one of my exes. He was from New York. Definite, definitely yeah. did that. Yep. I was like, dang, she got a fatty, huh? He was like, no, nah, I, I didn't see what you said. If I saw it, you saw it. Bottom line. She walked right by us. I know you saw it. <laughs> I see nothing. What are you trying to start? Are you trying to start something? No, I'm just saying. It was, right? <laughs> he was like, I don't understand why you acting weird. I'm like, I'm not acting weird. I'm making an observation. Like, this is an obvious observation. She walked by. She was attractive. That's what I saw. And he was looking at me and he was like, I don't understand what you're trying to do. Like, you trying to start a fight right now? And I was like, no, I'm just trying to get you to give me an honest answer. And he was mm-hmm. like, I mean, so you're yeah. trying to make him look he's, he's really like, deep. He's like, man, I, I, I saw it. I said, y- yeah. <laughs> we both start laughing about it. I mean, it's not. When you're an insecure person, you're going to be bothered by moments that are human. If, if you're the type of person that's going to cheat, it don't matter if you're in front of me, if you're looking at someone in front of me. It's If you want to do it, it's going to be when you go to the grocery store, when you walk outside, when you breathe air. It, like, it, it doesn't matter. If it's what you want to do, you're going to find a way to do it. Now, there's a difference between being disrespectful about it. You know what I mean? You're not going to look with, like, right. your mouth on the floor. But, you know, just being normal. <laughs> it's normal within respectful boundaries. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's been fun. What's going on? I, I don't, I don't. Uh, nothing. Just, just finishing up for the day. Closed everything off, so finally get a t- uh, moment to myself you sound so much like phil <laughs> i sound like philip <laughs> yeah you, you kind of do so what's your name uh, do you have well, a name my name is eloy but no yeah i'm certainly not philip <laughs> nobody's ever said that before that's i don't know really do people you usually should... just talk to a black screen when they talk to you yeah, pretty much. I'm on the run right now. Oh, are you? That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what would you do to force you to have to be on the run? <laughs> no, I'm not on the run. I would just fuck it up. Oh. No, just... <clears throat> Nowadays, you never know. Yeah, I got to so ask. It... Oh, no. I heard people are into that, though. <laughs> it's people that are on the run are murderers. <laughs> Sometimes, I guess. I don't know. I, w- I would hope that that's not the situation going on here. Otherwise, I, I um, it's like, is there an exit stage left somewhere? And no, no stage left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about yourself. Apparently, everybody's trying to find love for me. So, talk to me. I'm uh, I'm actually in, Mad- in Madeira. That's like thirty minutes above Fresno in California. I don't know if you know where that's at. Mm, nope. No idea. No, uh, I'm I'm very uh, work oriented. I don't really go out much anymore. But if it doesn't, if it's not something that I can uh, use in my business, I tend to not really do it. Oh, okay. So you're are you like a homebody? Uh, no. It's just it just takes <laughs> a lot for me to. <laughs> it has to be worth it for me to go outside. I don't just don't really uh i don't know i'm very focused if that makes sense 
focused on your focus. Yeah. That's that's good. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's good progress. Okay, so what are you looking for in somebody? Hmm. I don't know. Just, I don't know. No liars. <laughs> Just, <laughs> as long as you don't lie, I guess. I don't know what else there is. People are very, uh, I don't know. Everybody has their own thing, so you can't really say, I like this. Because you never know what you like. Everything's always different. Just as long as you're honest, I think that's a that's a good place to start. Okay, honesty. Honesty is a good it's a good thing to be. Um, yeah. Do you have any crazy like stories from dates you've been on or anything? Uh, I guess just I, the, the, everything has changed, and I guess now everybody's uh, there's really no manners. Everybody's pretty rude and upfront of, uh, from things that they want or just things that they expect. I guess I don't know. Things things have changed a lot since. Uh, pre-internet uh, when everybody still had a flip phone and stuff like that so mm. okay yeah. wow back in the flip phone days okay so you're older and I, I know you're definitely not younger because the person i spoke to earlier definitely wouldn't have been about that flip phone life so okay so you don't have any crazy dates so like what's the craziest thing you've ever done as far as date stuff just generally, kind of you gotta things. have a you gotta have a good story somewhere. Nobody said it needed to be X rated. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how much I can say. As I don't know, uh, yeah, younger days I like, just to be wild partying and stuff like that. Uh, in trouble with the law a couple of times, but nothing too crazy. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's everybody that's partied back in the day. Um, as far as the date things, uh, no, nothing too crazy. Just some people have, uh, it, I don't know if, uh, how you, would you explain this? Going on dates and then the person just leaves because they, well, I think this is mainly a guy thing, but they leave because their meal's already done and the guy has to pick up the tab and it's just like, okay, you're, I was just a free meal or whatever. Oh, yeah. That's always an awkward moment, right? When the check comes, everybody starts trying to look in yeah. a different direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how it is for you guys as far as the, the, the women's side of it. Well, I mean, I I don't typically go out on too many dates, hence why this is what's happening right now. So I guess this is the visual spin on what online dating really is. <laughs> so, so they set this up for you or you set it up? No, they set this up for me. <laughs> I didn't have a say in anybody. That was I have no idea who's popping up on the screen. When no. they call in. Mm -hmm. so where do you make your decision or what's happening after all these uh, conversations that you have? I'm not really too sure. None of them have been going very well. So I don't think anything's going to be happening. But it's been interesting to say the least. I'd rather just talk about <laughs> philosophy and stuff like that. <laughs> you just rather talk <clears throat> about philosophy and life and what's going on in the real world. Yeah. It's a great way well, to start well, a date with somebody, just diving real deep. So what do you think about politics well, yeah. and religion? Well, not politics, religion, but just <laughs> like it, all the topical stuff is easy to talk about. But I'd rather know how somebody actually thinks about uh, either deep topics or important topics, not political. I never talk about politics or religion or sports team because that tends to cause people to divide themselves and. I'd rather just know how people are. Right. But do you ever really know who who or how people are in the first couple of days that you speak to them? Not really. I think everybody always comes with their best foot forward at the beginning. Yeah. Well, at the same time, everybody talks about the same thing. So they have the little patterns that they've created because they already know what conversations are going to be had. So when you throw a monkey wrench into those plans, you can really see who they are. Like if you ask somebody, have you ever thought about the dreams of a chicken has? Or do chickens even have dreams? Like when was the last time anybody's ever asked you that? Probably never. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody's <laughs> ever still, asked me about chickens having dreams. But have you ever thought about that? No. So that it's just, it, I don't know. It's just the way I work, just the way the, my mind works is that I want to know what chickens think. Things. I get it. 
I can't no, but get it. The facial expression, <laughs> the facial expression people make when you ask them about chickens, <laughs> which is random as hell. A little bit. It's, it's, it's a little bit <laughs> random. Things are only as a. Uh, how is it called? Things are only as known as they are being discovered. So just because people might think that that person doesn't know or they're just making stuff up or they're just crazy. It's just we just don't know yet. Mm. I don't know. We're, we're only as smart as the times, I guess. True. True. I feel like that's something usually crazy people would say to justify them saying that they're not crazy. <laughs> it's interesting. It's, it's an interesting way of thinking. <laughs> it's been a well, pleasure talking that's... to you that we actually have to run into break. We're already hitting the time and they're telling me that I've I've got to I've got I've got to jump in the break. So it's been such a pleasure speaking with you Eloy. We're going to take What's going on? Yo, how you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Got a little HD thing going on over there. Got that good, good Hold lighting today, huh? Hold on. My phone's going crazy right now. Hold on. Let me see <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Yeah, doing okay. a little workout, something like that. You know, just, you know, got to keep it right now. 2022, man. So, you know, man. Yeah, 2022. Mm, you trying to get ready for Hot Boy Summer? Really, you know, that that time of year never really passes for me, for real. You know what I'm saying? It's just always a ongoing situation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm being good. It's 2022 this year, so I'm good this year, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're good. So City Boy's about to be up? <laughs> Ain't no City Boy, man. Nah, I'm chilling. Cool. No, no city That's boys. You, Me, I'm not a That's city you, boy. You like, like city girl. Me, never. A little bit. Look, I'm trying to. It be in the eyes. You can tell from the eyes. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell from the eyes. What can you tell from the eyes? You got like a Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B type of like city girl eyes. You know, just never know what might happen. Oh, okay. That's new. <laughs> that, that's a first. <laughs> what? It's a little bit. It's in just, the eyes. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit oh, in the eyes. Just a little bit, you know. I got to get my nourishment. You don't mind if I eat, do you? Oh, no, nah, of course not. A little food. Nah, just a... Hey, look, let me tell you how these hotels will do you, right? I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I grabbed a salt shaker. They got the little packs inside. <laughs> I ain't had a pack. You ever had no real salt in that thing? It's, I Golly. guess they're trying to be sanitary and save money at the same time. How you been though? Talk to me. Are we dating? Is oh, this our first date? This is our first date. Yeah. This is been right. very interesting so far. This is our first date. My hair done got a little long and I can't, you know what I'm saying? You got to put your hair up in a little bun so you can eat. Never no bun. Don't do me. <laughs> I just put it back. <laughs> just, just, Ain't no man I, bun going on. Bit. No, no man bun. Just, just up. No man bun going on. It's just up. You know what I'm saying? It's up and it's That's stuck. That's all. That's what's going on with you today? <laughs> that, be, that be happening. <laughs> that be happening. That's hilarious. That's so this what are you doing for this, fun this, these days this, other than eating? These days, um, you know, I do, you know, I'm I'm really a homebody for real. You know what mm. I'm saying? I'm really a homebody. But you know, I love uh you know, long walks on the beach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do um, you kindle at dinners? You know. You know what I mean? No, nah, but like, you know, I vibe, man, I, I feel like well, you could be the most funnest place in the world, but if you were somebody that's really kinda like boring or just not it's not a, it's not vibing it don't matter where you at for real so i'm more about like who you spend your time with the energy that y'all had together oh okay you know what i'm saying for instance like yeah like you know i try to like i try to just do different type of things you know what i'm saying i'm not you can always go to dinner you can always 
know what I'm saying? So I just try to put myself in, in, in different, different spots, different locations. Like I went, uh, they got this little like formula one, like race car track, Formula One. you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, like, a, like the many little formula one, little cars. I'm competitive too. So I took a girl that man and we, you know what I'm saying, sliding and riding around having a good time. She's so competitive. I, I done beat her. She mad the whole rest of the time. You didn't let her win? What? Uh, Why would I do that? Listen, this is equal equality. This is 2022. Men, women, y'all got this women movement, Me Too and all this. Listen, we put we are equals. I'm not letting you win. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So what, what do you consider boring? What's boring? People, man, women be boring a lot. Of, well, I don't know. Men might be too. I don't really know. I don't go out. But <laughs> sometimes y'all just be boring. <laughs> y'all just be, you know what I'm saying? Just sitting there, just, you know, talk about your nails, your hair, you know what I mean? Shopping. Like, that ain't it, man. That's boring. That's boring. So yeah, what's a good topic of conversation for you for a date? You got to get to know the person first, you know? For instance, like, you know, uh, how do you feel about one night stand? How do you feel about having sex on the first night? Just <laughs> that's, ask. A, that's, a, that's a topic of conversation for a first date? You got to know. You just got to know. Sometimes, you know what oh. I'm saying? Just, you got to see the response. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm a virgin. Oh, okay. You know, you got to let the spirit use you sometimes, you know? Mm. Okay. I'm a, I'm a reborn. I'm a reborn virgin from 2022. Oh, reborn. Oh, okay. So since January 1st. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you've been a virgin yeah, for like 30 days. Absolutely. Again. So who are you Absolutely. saving yourself for? Man, I, I've been I've been waiting on you, man. For real. You know what I mean? I know this is our first date, but I kind of got a vibe from you. <laughs> Over the screen, it's just, it's okay. It's it's just it's man, giving that. It's giving what it's supposed to. Is that what you're saying? Your energy, it's your energy, man. Like you know, it translates through universes. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's interesting. Okay. That's a good way to vibe. Mm -hmm. Food's that's good, it, huh? Man, you know? It's amazing. See, if we're dating, it like work it. out great. I can just hang out. And I can watch the game on the weekends. I can watch football and basketball. And then you can clean the house and cook and do other grocery shopping. <laughs> Where's it? I can't hang up? Nah. You ain't just like, oh, this the one. She it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't it. So I can oh. do everything. So men determine yeah. that a woman is the one based on her cooking and cleaning skills? A lot of the times, yeah. You know, old school, oh. like, that's what it is. Like, you know, the... The stigma, you know, that's, that's what they're supposed to do. But then if that's all they bring bringing to the table, mm. I mean, what the hell? You can't cook clean and, you know, have sex all 8, 24 hours a day? Oh, man. All right, this is a true story. So I'm at, uh, I'm at the, uh, where am I at? I'm at the Cheesecake Factory, right? Girl, nice girl, you know what I'm saying? She got, she, you know, she, she, she's attractive. You know what I'm saying? So we walked in, we got it, you know, I got the drip on. I'm just kind of, I'm selected right now. I just got done working out, but mm -hmm. we got the whole superstar vibe going on. I got the select like, shades on, you feel me? You know, whatever, whatever. So we walk in, so we getting a lot of attention. Everything going great. So then, you know, we talking, vibing. And uh, she's like, yeah, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, shoot, I'm going to go in a little second. So I go, she, I let her go. I go ahead and go to the bathroom. All of a sudden, I hear yelling, screaming in the girl's bathroom. The men and the, and the women's bathroom right next to each other. So I'm hearing screaming, like yelling, right? So I'm like, damn. I ain't nothing. So I go in there, use the bathroom, come back out. I hear, I still hear yelling, screaming. This time, the staff is kind of around the door of the bathroom. Oh, and I'm like, what's going on in there? So the manager comes. I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and go in. She opened the door. And it's the girl I'm on a date with squared off with another girl in the bathroom. 
They yelling. I'm like, hold on, what's going on? She going crazy. She yelling, screaming, going crazy. So I'm like, what the hell going on, right? Because she looks so, you know what I'm saying? Feminine, you know what I'm saying? She real quiet, you know what I mean? And real got a whole little sex appeal, little sex, you know, soft spoken. So, man, next thing you know, man, the girl, then she done grabbed the girl, and I don't know what kind of strength she turned into. She done picked the girl up. Boom! Slammed on the, I'm on the tile. So now the girl head is on the floor. Her body is on the wall. So she upside down. <laughs> on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Were I'm you like, on a date hey, or was this like a WWE I'm on a date. show? I'm on a date. Hmm. You sure? This is an actual this is an actual date. And this happened. Everything was going good. I'm like, all right, this might be a nice look, you know. She got to fight in the bathroom. So now I'm like, man, it's it's COVID season, so we got our masks on, so can't nobody really see who he is for real. So I'm like, man, they about to call the police. So the girl you know what I'm saying? Her name, I ain't gonna say her name, but I was like, all right, like, I need to get her, snap her out of whatever going on. So mm-hmm. I just made up a name, you know what I'm saying? Janita Jenkins, let's go! Janita Jenkins! So I grab her, we run out, just in case, you know what I'm saying? They call the police. Yeah, her name's Janita Jenkins. Like, nah, that ain't her name. So how many girls are you dating hey. now? Right now? Mm-hmm. I ain't dating nobody now. Oh, just, just you, you. And God, me. Just you. We date. This is our date. This is the first date. We're not date team. I mean, I figure from here we gonna, you know, what I'm saying, move forward. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we we gonna move move for, move forward to what? It depends on what you talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we could, you know. I don't know. I gotta see though. You know what I'm saying? You um. So what would you consider your body type? You know what I'm saying? Regular, thick, and what's your um ethnicity? Spanish. Come on now. Pues si tú quieres, nos ponemos aquí y hablamos en español mejor. ¿Qué te parece? You said something about better, didn't it? So let me ask you. So if you hug a guy, right? I almost feel like it's standard. But it got to kind of, depending on the vibe, how do you feel about you give a hug, a guy grabbing your booty a little bit? Uh, what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are like about to go. I'm not finna, I don't kiss. Like, if I got to really be into you if I'm trying to kiss you. So I ain't no like kiss on it for no, ain't that? You don't know what nobody mouth being for real. Speaking so you for yourself too. Everybody. Well, no, nah, my mouth was with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a. You got to be my woman, woman for me to, you know what I'm saying? Consider putting anything, you know, in the mouth. But I feel like it's standard. Like, if it's a vibe, give a hug, you know, grip the booty a little bit. How you, you okay? Is that all right with you? And you like, nah, don't touch me type thing. I like a whole grip, but like, maybe like a little, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a little, you know, you feel me? <laughs> just a seat. Just like a little. It's not a fill up. It's like I'm right there, but it's like the waist and the cusp of being the booty. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that tweener area. Like right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like the gooch. Is that what you're talking about? But for the booty? What you call it? <laughs> the gooch. The gooch is. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's like that, but for the booty on the upper part. So it's like the in-between part, right? But the gooch is under... <laughs> Hold on, now, I knew it. That, that's that Cardi B is coming right there. You're talking about the gooch. I'm talking about the top of the booty. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey. Hey, oh, it's good hey. to get you off the topic. I figured it'd get you, get, you know, you, you, be, you forget what you were saying real quick. No, nah, I'm talking about the booty. You talking about the gooch, man? Let me find out, man. Hold I don't know. On, you over coach. there? You started. You lost track of what you were saying. Now you playing with your hair. Nah. I'm not the Ain't one no over here playing with my hair, bit. smiling real big. Like, hold on, 
What you say about the Gucci? Hey, hey. hey you said, hey, you said hey. it on me. Hey, it's hey. the first day. Hey, hey, no, no Gucci. No. <laughs> See, woman went. Oh no, you know. See, you don't be jealous already. Now hold on, now, coach. Oh, I'm not jealous. I'm just trying to say, I wish you all love and prosperity, and I hope the good Lord uses you as a vessel to bring forth His word. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere. You're listening to The Abby Night Show. Buy optimized humans achieve ideal levels of aesthetics, performance, and health. It's a state of existence where all the body and brain's functions operate in perfect harmony. A symphony of the factors flowing in optimal quantities and qualities. We have world-class biologists to create the best in-class formulas. mission and physical suffering by optimizing digestion, optimizing brains, and activating by optimized health. We've been optimizing humans since 2004. By optimizers, use code ABBY10 for discount at checkout. You humongous. Yeah, that's that's my that's my name. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, yeah. where are you from? Uh, I, I'm from Fresno. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're 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 really pretty. Um, how you doing? I'm I'm good. <laughs> How's my, your day my, going? My, well, it's okay. Um, my, I have a fight with my roommates, so um, yeah, I've I've had them for a real long time. Do you, do you have roommates? N- no, no, I don't, I don't have roommates. Oh, I've got two roommates. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my mom and dad, but <laughs> it's it's okay. <laughs> oh, you live with your mom and dad? I do, I do. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're my roommates. Well, I actually lived in my mom for nine months, <laughs> but. Nah, I'm I'm 47 now, so it doesn't really count. Oh, 47. I'm 47. Yeah. How, and living at home. It, well, yeah. I mean, with your roommates. Yeah, are, are you being judgmental? I hope you're not. No, of course not. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I don't like judgmental girls. <laughs> your hair. You know, your my, hair looks. Have, like, <laughs> your hair looks interesting. Well, I, I don't really show myself on camera, and I told your your people that I don't I won't do it. But they were like, "Well, can you can you can you put up a picture?" And I said, "Yeah, I, I drew a picture of myself like two days ago, and this is on my on my Tinder." But I mean, I'm a real catch, and like nobody really messages me there, so you don't have to worry about me cheating on you or anything. <laughs> oh yeah, it uh, it's, it looks like a, a work of art. Oh, thank you. So, 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 do you have any animals? Do you have any p- pets? I do. I have a dog. Oh, that's, I have a cat. His name's Mittens, but he's dead. He died in 1977. He got hit by a bus. <laughs> um, I, wait, you, you said, so you said you have a cat, but he, got hit by a bus and he died like 40 years ago you ever watch Battlestar Galactica um it's like my favorite show <laughs> no I no I nope nope what do you do for fun I like your earrings you're oh, really pretty I can't, I can't wait till my mom meets you you know on our wedding day you think you're gonna wear those earrings <laughs> um what are, are what? You speak English? Uh huh. Because I speak three languages. Oh, you, you do? What other languages do you speak? Yeah. I speak English, I speak Pig Latin, <laughs> and I speak Klingon. 
Those are the three I speak. Klingon. What? What's that? Klingon. I can't. If you don't, well, I'm not gonna tell you. If you don't know. You're gonna embarrass me, babe. <laughs> what? So, are, are we like boyfriend and girlfriend now, or or what's going on? Do we have to wait? <laughs> What? Boyfriend and girlfriend. What? Yeah, aren't we on a date? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's what's going on when you, with your teeth? Well, what's going on with your teeth? They're very pretty. <laughs> Sorry. I get excited. So what do you do for fun? Well, I just got... I, 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 um, well, let me see. I, I watch Battlestar Galactica, the old ones, though. I watch Star Trek. Um, I don't like Star Wars. I think it's, that's so stupid. <laughs> so fake, you know? <laughs> um, I like to, um, I like to, uh, oh, I play Atari 2600. I know there's, like, all kinds of new stuff, but I've had that Atari 2600 for, like, a real long time. So I play that a lot. <laughs> and I go out with my friends sometimes, but they're like, they're imaginary. So they're, they're really cool. You, you're going to meet them <laughs> for sure one day, I think. It mm -hmm. depends how far this goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Are you having fun? Because I'm having a blast. You're like the first real girl I've ever been on a date with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's that. Uh, that that's nice. That's nice. What do you do for fun? What do you do for fun? Um, not much. What about you? What do you do for fun? Well, I think I already told you that. You're not listening. Wow, we're gonna have to work on that, babe. <laughs> Why do you keep calling me, babe? Cause we're on a date. Oh. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so do you like sports? Yes, I actually do. I love chess. <laughs> That's have good. Have you ever have you ever played chess? No, no, no. I haven't played chess. Oh, do you like do you, what? What sports do you like? I like basketball. Here's the thing, my mom and dad. They they didn't want any more kids after after I came out. You know why? 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 Why? No, I'm asking you because I don't know either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so funny. My mom's kind of protective of who I hang out with, though. You see, when my mom and dad die, I'm gonna get like some like forty seven million dollars. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, they're they're. <laughs> They're really careful of who I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nice. What are you going to do with the money? I don't know. Probably just spend it on you, babe. Oh, that's not necessary. You don't have to keep calling me, babe. Oh. Okay, schnookums. <laughs> um, so, do you travel? Yeah, I, I go up the street uh, sometimes, and then I have to come back because my mom has that alarm on me to make sure I don't go too far. <laughs> and if I go too far, it shocks me. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That doesn't sound like very much fun. No, not really. <laughs> so what about cooking? So, do you, do you so cook? I'm, oh, yeah. I'm a really good chef, actually. <laughs> I uh, You put it in the microwave for five minutes, and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me ask you something. Do you have any kids? Uh, no. Oh, thank God. I'm not supposed to be around kids. Oh, okay. This this is going so good. I thought so, too! Hey, Ma! You want to come meet my girlfriend? <laughs> okay, we're going to take a quick break. It's been so nice talking to you, Hugh uh, Mungus. Um, yes, we'll be fungus. we'll be it right back virgin. after this. You're
live. I got me a little drink I put together. Okay, okay. What's going on? Mm -hmm. How you doing? How you doing? Blessed by the best. You blessed by the best. How about you? I'm I'm good. I'm blessed as well. Enjoying mm -hmm. life right you now. You look blessed. You look blessed too. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what's your name? I did good. What's I, my name is Donna Askew Jr. Okay, okay. What do you do for a living? I am a musician, producer, publisher, performer. I do a little bit of it all. I do a little bit of it pertaining to music. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, a little bit of everything pertaining to music. Uh, been out here in this game for a minute. I don't like to too much brag about. It. I just, I just be about talk it. Talk huh? a little bit about it and jump off of you. Mm -hmm. But I've been doing music for a long time. Theme songwriter. Okay. What about yourself? What you been doing? Now, what do you do? I don't write theme songs, but uh, I, I do a little, a little bit of a lot. A little photography, Ooh -wee. radio. Oh we! I like, I like that. I like that. I mean, you very busy. Very busy. Yeah, I need more hours in oh, my so days. Oh, we, oh, mm. we, you said that. I felt that. I felt every bit of what you just said. Right. Yeah. So what do you so, do for fun? Well, before COVID, I used to go to the clubs. I used to go. Well, I'm not really too much of a club person. I like karaoke. I like karaoke. I like comedy. I like poetry. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, go-to karaoke little... song? Oh, good, good one. Tupac, Dear Mom. Okay, you want freestyle a little some, some? Freestyle some? Well, like acapella, basically, because you don't have, I don't have an instrumental I can put on here. You said it's your go-to karaoke you. song, so I was like, hold up, you, you got a little something that you're able to do? Yeah, I got something I can do for you. Uh, I'll give you something else. I don't really want to speak somebody's art. On an acapella, mm, you need the I beat see. to go with it, cause most everybody know the beat. You know what I'm saying? Right. With that, uh, I still uh, got it, but uh -huh. I just rather it be mine. Right. So I'm gonna give you a little something. Like, go like this. I got love for you. Ain't no sense in me lying. Even when I'm in the studio, the music reminds me of the sweetest thing, the sweetest joy. I got love for you, girl. This from your baby boy. Keeping it real, it's my motto. I cherish you like the lotto. I follow my sorrow and pray for strength and audition for you like Apollo. We ain't promised tomorrow. I'm going to stay strong. Living the life of a movie, this ain't the same song. And I'm keeping it real with you. Because in my eyes, you was my boo and I gave you this clue. You ain't figured it out? Come over to my house, sit on the couch. We can talk this over. Would you like a soda? Pretty soldier? That's what you will. And what's the biz with you and me? I and you. This picture I planned this life I drew. I painted the picture, then colored it blue. Yeah. I know your man ain't doing you right. And deep down inside, you need a player tonight. <laughs> did you just come up with all that? <laughs> like, yeah. Is that a previous thing, or did you just come up with all that? Yeah, I wrote that. I wrote that before. I ain't. I don't do no. I ain't gonna do too many freestyles because it ain't gonna come out like that. Ah, uh, okay. That that's what I was thinking. Okay. What you got? Oranges mm -mm. in your in your glass? Yeah, man. I got some oranges in my lemonade. You know what I'm saying? I'm Orange and lemonade. And close to. Yeah. It's supposed to be trying to kill some of this this COVID that's in the air. Mm, okay, it kills the I'm COVID. I'm trying to get in the all air. the citrus I can, all the citrus I can get. <laughs> okay, you hear me? I get all that, every bit of it. I hear so, you. So what's going on? Tell me some good news, though. What's going on? Like, oh, uh, I'm alive. What you got going? <laughs> that's what good you news. got going on in your life? <laughs> work, like the Rihanna okay. song. Okay. So Just when work, do work, you work. have? That's what I do all the time. Make time. You said you get you gotta you make time for what you want. You know what I'm saying? So what is it that you want? That's a good question. A life partner, someone to compliment me, not to complete me. Mm. I'm happy by myself. I don't need someone to provide happiness. So somebody to add the pieces to the puzzle. Exactly. That sound about that sound about like something I've been looking for. I've been I've been in search for <laughs> along my journey. Have you? I, I, every time I think I got, it, I don't. 
if the values and principles are lined up, then you can count. We can kind of see what it could be. If there's something there, I hear you. Right, and some and sometimes it might not be no relationship. Sometimes it might just be something at the moment, sporadic thing. Mm -hmm. But you, but we are. It's like it's like the things I've been through, man. I I just know. I I, I can feel it. it. It's like I feel the spirit of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hear you. And I know you're a great. I know you're a great person. I can tell. You. Oh, you can tell just by looking at me on here. You, you know, because you're a great listener. Mm. You're a great listener. You're observer. You're observant, and so that's what I I, I peep that. I see. So okay. the ones who listen, they're trying to see something. They're trying to see, hey, can I learn something from this person? Mm -hmm. Does he have any value to him? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Can I move forward with this person in any type of way? So we we this is just an introduction. Okay. You know, I see. And then after that, you know, then we then we can work our way to objective and the mission. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm A common goal. Common goal. Yes. That's what okay. it's about. That's what life's mm -hmm. about. <laughs> I promise you. Right. Yeah. Well, we've got so, to jump in a break, Don, but it's been such a pleasure speaking to you. Wake your ass up. It's time for the Abbey Nights Morning Show, the best show in the city.